One of the most far-reaching results of the European encounter with the New World was unintentional. The exchange of a variety of plants, animals, and microorganisms. We refer to this phenomenon as the Columbian Exchange. In this exchange, the European contributions were mostly animals and the American contributions were mostly plants. Some of the weeds and endemic diseases were clearly harmful, but many exchanges were mutually beneficial. As the wild game in North America was depleted by overhunting, the eastern woodland Indians adopted European cows and pigs. Rather than fencing the animals and housing them in barns, the natives let them roam in the woods until they were needed. The Native Americans' adoption of the Spanish horse led to the cultural efflorescence of many plains tribes in the early 19th century. Mounted plainsmen could now surround and outmaneuver large buffalo herds, move larger buffalo skin teepees on horse-drawn travoy, and make lightning-fast raids on enemy villages. The horse gave warriors such military advantage, the highest honor became a practice called counting coup, which was merely touching an enemy by hand or with a special coop stick. American corn, potatoes, and tomatoes transformed the world's eating habits. Ireland and Germany's cool, damp climates happily adopted the white potato from the Andes to feed their poor. African and Chinese farmers welcomed Indian corn, called maize or turkey wheat. Even today, approximately one-third of the Chinese diet consists of corn.